If you have three points in a plane that aren't collinear, ultimately they end up forming a triangle. Similarly, for two points and one point, there's really only one fundamental geometric structure that can arise. With four points, there are two. You could have all four points form a convex quadrilateral, or put one point in the middle of the other three. With five points, there are three options. A convex pentagon, a convex quadrilateral with one point inside, or a triangle with two points inside. Now, this seems like a pretty easy pattern to follow, but can you guess how many geometric structures there are for six points? Feel free to pause the video and let me know your guesses in the comments. Kudos to you if you said 16. What's crazy though, is that as more points are added, the number of geometric structures grows beyond comprehension, and to this day, we've only been able to count the number of geometric structures up to the case of 13 points. But there's also a different way that we can abstract the notion of how points are arranged in the plane, and recently it was used to solve a century-old problem in mathematics. For the full story, check out the linked video.